programs. And I'm coordinating the program student ഇരുട്ടുമാതിരില്ലേ എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു
So do you have a demonstration for us? I think you're muted, Speaks. Do you guys have a demonstration? Demonstration, uh, no. Uh, you said the uh, uh, handle was really short, right? So yeah. I just bought, I think, what is it called? I don't know. Uh, yeah. So you are able to extend it now? Yes. Do you have a stool on which you can stand and do the turning? Do you have it? Uh, in a minute, 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 So what are the projects going on now? So as far as demonstrations go. So it is three of you from Spix, correct? Yes. Um, others are in home. Oh. They are outside. Yeah. Hello, April. Huh? I said hello, Toto. Hello.
Oh, Sammy is not here yet. Oh, cool. Do it again. Oh, perfect. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Good job. So you are tying the thread and stretching it out to make it go fast, right? No. Um... अदरोस्कोपे कु but i can already check them work in the that is okay yeah good and your stool in the uh it uh, one i am a man on it steering at least uh, yeah but this is good very good अश्वतो Sammy is oh. not here. Me turn you down. Oh, yeah, electronics. Wait, I yeah, because it is his lecture today, right? I am not lecturing. Yeah. Yeah. He is going to build on how to build electronic uh, stuff. Hey, Shajis. Oh, Sammy. You are on the meet. Okay, so uh, everyone, uh, you started the meeting already. Yeah, we are in the meeting. So we have uh, three students in specs, and we have Joan uh, logging in from Kuchin. And we have Prachi and April, and from Carbondale. Okay. So today, I uh, since we are we are waiting, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can take your time. Yeah. So I was uh, reading uh, a joke. So a very um, big company uh, that uh, actually it's called the tooth toothpaste problem. 
Uh, so a company uh, uh, production line, uh, sometimes they ship boxes of toothpaste that are empty, like a fraction of the total shipment, the boxes themselves are empty. So they couldn't uh, realize, I mean, they couldn't like, it's, it's a big problem for a prestigious big company to uh, send packages uh, that are empty. Um, even if it's one or two percent, so they hired um, a, a committee to look into this issue and to try to find a solution, where they recommended hiring a third uh, party to investigate and propose a solution. Uh, so, uh, and after uh, three months and eight million dollars of investment, they found the solution. Basically, they have a scale. Uh, to weigh every box uh, automatically. And if the box is, is empty, then an agent uh, will take it off the production line before it gets shipped. Uh, uh, so when the uh, weight below certain threshold, there is a buzzer or a bell that indicate that this box should be removed before it ships to the customers. Um, and then after um, uh, a week, they looked into uh, how many boxes the way the scale detected that are empty, uh, they found uh, that it is the 2%. Um, and after three weeks, they looked into the data and they found that uh, the scale um, uh, detected uh, I mean, the data showed that there has been uh, uh, like the percentage of the boxes removed by the scale, uh, like zero. They were really surprised. I mean, what exactly happened? Uh, is it working or not? Then they send a committee to the factory floor to investigate and to see what exactly happening. And they talked to the... Um, a factory, a factory worker, uh, he said, what exactly happened? So the factory worker, he replied saying, so basically um, uh, every time there is a box empty that is detected, I stand up and then I go and uh, remove the box. But then I decided, okay, well, I'm gonna have a fan that uh, run with a certain RPM so uh, when the box that is empty passes in front of the fan, uh, and instead of the bell ra uh, rings and then I go and move the box, the fan will do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the solution after eight million. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. So eight million dollar solutions. Okay, you can begin, Osama. Yep. Okay. All right. So let me get. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna start. All right. So now it is their holidays going on. So if you have anything you want to suggest to them, that's also your welcome to do, I suppose. Yeah. If okay. They'll be interested in activities also. All right. So let me see. Try to put this like that. And then I'll get my. Okay. So stop me if there is something I write that is not visible. Um, or if the of or if it's the uh, the writing is a small, uh, I can uh, make it bigger. Okay. Uh, all right, so um, uh, hi everyone. Uh, so today 
uh, we will continue our discussion about uh, electricity and um, the uh, electrical power and uh, electronics. Uh, so I thought that before we dig deeper into <coughs> the electronics and the uh, that we see inside any um, a calculator or a computer or any electrical uh, system, we talk about a very uh, the force behind all of this, which is basically uh, the uh, electric field. and uh, electric potential. So I'm so if if we buy a battery like the triple A or uh, the if we buy the double A battery this is the positive and this is the negative uh, uh, we the the battery has a voltage. Uh, anyone can tell me uh, what is the voltage that comes with double A batteries these days? Uh, anybody? Voltage has, uh, voltage yeah. from a double A battery, Etriana. They are saying How, nine volt. Yeah, uh, some batteries. Yes, the, actually, uh, yeah, you 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 are not completely uh, far. We have the uh, the other type of battery, the nine volt battery. Um, I'm not sure what's this called, but the double A battery uh, is uh, a, a, a has a voltage that is lower than nine volt. Uh, and a pencil can... cell only. I think in uh, in our place we would normally call it a pencil cell battery. Yeah. Right? Pencil cell na lavariya yi chariya battery na. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I uh, let me get. Uh, I have a battery myself. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, show you where to find that number. All of you have used a battery here, right? Yes. All three of you. Yeah. All right. Um, actually, I'm not sure if, so this is actually, this is a, a triple A, which is a smaller one. Uh, but I was thinking that, uh, yeah, it is here, but uh, let me see if, <laughs> can you guys no, see? Probably not. It. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Okay, so uh, if I magnify, there is something called 1.5V. Uh, uh, all batteries uh, of the, this is triple A batteries, double A batteries, and even uh, battery C and D, the bigger one, the uh, thicker one. Uh, the voltage is also 1.5 volt. So today, so question, know. Sami? Yeah. Why are they called triple A, double A, and C and D? What is the notation? Is there any reason to pick that notation? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, probably there is some history. That's uh, uh, a good, a good, uh, good questions. Uh, I'm curious to know what where the name came from. Okay. That's and cool. I don't know if there is B batteries. Probably there are. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, but I don't know, but uh, apparently there are so many types of batteries, uh, different sizes, different uh, voltages, uh, different applications. Uh, and even I have a small uh, uh, clock uh, that has a, a battery where it is very small, uh, but thicker, like a thicker and a smaller. And I thought, so I, then I went to uh, the store and then I bought one, but it didn't fit. It, it tends to be that there is another one that is uh, <laughs> a little bit taller and a little bit bigger. So there are so many types, uh, but the most common one 
uh, is the uh, AA. This is like the most versatile one. And also the D and C, they are also uh, quite common. Um, uh, and a smaller electronics, they use this one, which is AAA uh, batteries. All others are uh, less and less. Uh, in the United States, all of the um, uh, carbon monoxide detectors, they use uh, this type of battery, the nine volt uh, one. Mm -hmm. um, when this battery becomes weak, uh, the uh, alarm, the smoke detector or the carbon monoxide detector generate a very annoying sound. Uh, uh, really, really annoying. Uh, so today we will learn um, why, I mean, where is this 1.5 uh, coming from? We'll know uh, what, is, what is the meaning of this 1.5 uh, volt. Uh, now, uh, last time we talked about uh, if we have a electric charge, positive electric charge coming from one proton, for example, we could have two protons or we could have trillions and trillions of protons. Uh, they will have a positive charge. Uh, and then we, if we have, for example, um, uh, about another positive charge here. Uh, and if we like make sure this doesn't move and we allow this to move, because we talked about last time that uh, similar charges repel. So this charge, uh, if it's at rest, uh, it's gonna move toward the right in this direction. Uh, and in fact, while it moves, the, uh, the, the speed will increase. Uh, we say that because we have uh, electric force. Uh, uh, this is one way to talk about it. Another way to uh, talk about the same thing, we say that this charge is affected by the electric field of this charge. So this charge uh, generate an electric field in the area surrounding uh, this charge. And that electric field is affecting any charge and causing that charge to experience a force. Um, uh, and that is the definition uh, of the uh, electric field. And, uh, uh, and the electric field uh, basically has always a direction. Uh, and uh, so let us try to work together to draw the uh, electric field uh, around a positive charge. Uh, how we do that? We uh, get uh, basically uh, a test charge or a test a positive charge. Uh, let me uh, get this one. So I'm gonna... get this charge. So this is my positive test charge. So it's gonna be positive. And then I'm go if I need to know the direction of the electric field here, I place this charge and then see uh, how it's gonna move. Uh, this charge is gonna move like this. So the electric field this way. And then uh, how about this uh, point here? What is the direction of the electric field? This charge, is going to move to the right again. So the electric field in this, at this point is directed uh, to the right. And uh, you guys are smart, know that the electric field is always to the right. If you, if you come here, uh, south, uh, east, the positive, if I place my test charge here, it is gonna move this way like this. So the direction of the electric field this way. If I put an electric charge here again, it's gonna move this way. So that's the direction of the electric field. Uh, now, uh, so basically the uh, electric field around this charge is like the rays of the sun going away from the source. I can add more and more lines. 
And as, as you can see, uh, the further I am away from the charge, the length of these arrows uh, gets smaller. And that's just to give an indication that the intensity of the electric field uh, get uh, lower. Um, so like that. Uh, and in fact, uh, although this is not the standard, they measure the intensity of the electric field by the density of the of these lines. But we're not going to talk about uh, these uh, details. OK, now, uh, 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 so this is uh, a way. Now, if we have uh, a, magnet, a negative, uh, if we have a negative charge, uh, uh, how the, the electric field looks like uh, since, uh, well, I'm going to use the same principle. I'm going to use my test charge and see how this charge is going to move. If I put it here, this charge is going to move to the left because similar, uh, different or opposite charges attract. So here, the electric field will be going to the right, left. Uh, so, and if I am here, the charge is gonna move up. So it means that the electric field going this way. And if I am here, uh, the discharge will get attracted. So it's gonna move to the right. So it's gonna move to the right. And if I am here, it's gonna move down like that. So as you can see, the, the electric field is very similar to this case, but the opposite, but the direction is the opposite. Like that. Now, uh, let us do uh, uh, one more example. Uh, let's do one more example where we have two uh, electric uh, charges. One of them is positive and the other is negative. Uh, so probably I will use another sheet of paper. Anyone has any question? Very good. That, that makes me a good teacher. All students have understood exactly what I said. That's a very good thing. Uh, so uh, let, let's talk about the case where you have one charge positive and another, another charge negative here. How the electric uh, field uh, looks like. Um, since the, uh, well, I'm gonna use the same principle. I'm gonna use my Uh, elect, uh, test charge, I'm going to put one here. And then uh, this charge is going to move this way. So the electric field will look like something like that. And then if I have uh, uh, an electric charge here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get repelled from this one, and, uh, and then it will get attracted uh, to this charge. So I'm going to draw the final answer uh, because we are not, uh, the purpose here is not to understand and study the electric field uh, de de in details. We just wanted to uh, have an idea because we'll use that for our uh, study. And then also we can talk about the case where we have two charges, both of them positive. Uh, we're not gonna spend time to look into that because I'm gonna, so I would like to talk about um, a very important uh, configuration, which is uh, important to our study of electric, electrical circuits. So Christian? Yep. So these electric field lines are Three dimensional, right? This is coming out of the page or page also. Uh, yes, correct. So, is it possible to have a configuration such that electric field is purely in a plane? Um, 
uh, you mean uh, yeah that's a good question uh, I like you mean uh, 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 you mean like if you have a line of uh, uh, like a line of uh, charges uh, like the charges on a wire for example that's yeah, it, but what still that, that will be three dimensional right yes like the charge yeah. is one dimensional but i'm saying that field lines should exist only on a plane not outside uh yeah that that's a good question i don't know probably uh uh that's interesting question do you do you know the uh whether that's possible uh i usually here putting the question back on me <laughs> uh so uh, recently, or, or what you can do is that at least one scenario where this happens is that if you have a positive charge, wherever you drew the electric field lines. Now, if you were to go faster and faster, the positive charge moves faster and faster. Mm -hmm. So the field lines hold themselves oh. along the perpendicular line of motion. And in the extreme scenario, when it approaches the speed of light, they are all on a plane. So that I can show. Okay. But probably that's not what I meant. I was just thinking a static configuration. Can you think of uh, such uh, field lines? So that was just a curiosity uh, I had. Yeah. Okay. Another yeah. question along the lines, uh, often they say the field lines cannot intersect. Correct. Is that true? Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, because, if, uh, we, uh, because if we have, uh, let's look here, for example, let's assume uh, that we have uh, two lines uh, intersect like that mm -hmm. uh, based on our definition if we put an electric charge here uh, the definition of the electric field is the direction of motion of this positive charge and we know that in nature uh, there is only one 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 way or one solution to any given problem so this one means that the charge can go this way and this way, which is a contradiction. Uh, if you, uh, the electric charge uh, moves uh, in one direction. This one me means the electric charge is moving in two different direction, which is, uh, is not possible. So, uh, so electric charge uh, will always, uh, or the electric field uh, lines, uh, they never intersect. Uh, same thing with the magnetic field lines and also with uh, with fluid uh, the streamline of uh, in aerodynamics and fluid dynamics um, where there is always one possible uh, solution to a physical problem like for example the temperature uh, in this room uh, at certain point when you measure the thermometer when you use the thermometer to measure the temperature uh, you are going to find the thermometer give you one reading. If you measure later, you might find a different reading, but at the same point, at the same time, there is only one temperature. Uh, so that, that, did the idea reach everyone? Because this is important uh, uh, thing in, 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 in science in general. Okay. Um, so, uh, so she just talked about the uh, like we are going to have uh, lines that are um, in two D, which basically goes in line with uh, my next uh, topic, which is um, uniform electric field, which is the second case I'm going to talk about. Uh, imagine, let us assume that uh, we have uh, uh, a sheet of or uh, we have like electric charges that are aligned uniformly like that. Uh, this goes up forever and this is goes, goes down forever. 
and um, and let us uh, try to uh, write down the electric field because this is important in elect in batteries and electric circuit. So uh, my uh, uh, as, uh, what I'm going to say that or I'm saying is the electric field always going in the direction of the electric field here is going to be toward the right. Uh, and the electric field here is going toward the left. So I'm going to draw that uh, with a pencil. And then I'll tell you why. Uh, the electric field will have uniform direction. Um, so, so I'm saying that the electric field is going to be like this. And again, how would one create such a such a setup of positive charges? A physical description of how you would achieve that? Um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's so. Let's talk about uh, the electric field, and then we'll talk about sure. how we're going to create this one uh, in in uh, in real life. So this is the electric field. Uh, 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 the actual electric field for such configuration and the reason why because if we have electric charge here uh, the charge cannot move this way the charge has to move this way why because if the charge goes down like this so I'm going to write it down with red. If the charge goes down like that, this is not really possible because, because the charges above is positive uh, and the charges below is also positive. And the concentration of the charge above and the concentration of the charge below uh, is uh, the same. So there is no, so why this charge is going to, come down and not going up. There is no reason going down is not special uh, to compare to going up. Therefore, uh, if this charge goes down, uh, physically uh, it doesn't uh, make sense. Um, uh, if I'm gonna joke about it, uh, if this charge goes down because of this, the influence of this charge, then these charges will be sad, will be angry, because uh, this positive charge is preferred to go down, but that doesn't happen. Therefore, the only way for this charge to keep uh, the charges above and the charges below happy is to take the neutral path, which is going straight to the right. So uh, those this lines will get weaker as they get farther? Uh, that's the next. Uh, that's the next uh, uh, information, uh, and also the electric field go uh, stays the same. So a charge uh, like this is going to feel the same force as if the charge is actually here. Why? Um, if we go back, if we back, if we go back to the first case, the electric field closer to the source is gonna be higher than the electric field here because the distance is, is, is bigger here. So if you move to here, the distance is bigger. So the electric field is gonna uh, become uh, weaker. Uh, here is different. If the charge move from here to here, Although this charge become further away from this collection of charges, this charge, in fact, uh, will, will see more of the other charges. So this charge uh, lost some influence from this charge, but uh, it gained influence from the other charges further away that 
keeps the electric field the same. And that's bring a very important uh, case, which is the uniform electric field. Uh, so basically, the electric field is uh, is uh, is uniform in the sense that uh, the 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 strength of the electric field doesn't change uh, as you go away from the source. Same thing for the other, same thing for the other uh, direction. And uniform, uh, in fact, it doesn't mean only the strength of the electric field is the same or constant, it also refers to uh, the direction of the electric field. The direction of the electric field is also doesn't change. Like if you are here, the electric field is to the right. If you are here, the electric field also uh, to the right. Uh, of course, on the other side, it changes, it becomes to the left, but that's uh, uh, mm. if we consider the left side. Okay, so uh, right now let's go back and find out what, how we can create, uh, how we can create um, uh, such um, a, a electric field physically. Um, the answer is uh, we basically uh, get uh, a very, um, a very long, Uh, a very long uh, sheet of metal. Physically, uh, we get a very long sheet of metal. And if we look, uh, and usually, uh, and let us consider it has a thickness uh, like that. And, um, and let us assume uh, ideally, that the uh, that this sheet goes up to the uh, all the way to infinity, and this goes all the way down to infinity. And if we uh, uh, if we throw uh, or if we provide um, uh, this uh, uh, sheet by uh, some electric charge, some positive electric charge. And so, how do we provide that electric charge? Um, so, I am going to let you answer this question. Oh, I was you're asking me I was because I'm going to use. Uh, yeah, that's that also also will work. Uh, I was planning to say that we connect this to Van de Graaff generator or something. Oh, uh, yeah, but yeah, connecting the battery uh, will do the job. Or uh, rub so, it, right? Why not rub it? Rub. Yeah, yeah. That, rub that, yourself to the to your hair. Yeah. Now, if we exactly so, if we put uh, now, if we put electric charge now, now this becomes uh, electric charge inside metal inside material here. And here, and here, we talked about this electric charge in, in free space, not inside matter. This one is uh, electric charge inside matter. And when it comes to matter, we differentiate between conductors and insulators. Uh, to make it simple, we differentiate between metals and everything else. Uh, in metals, Electric charge, uh, they uh, basically uh, distribute themselves. Uh, uh, of course, they will all they will always go to the surface, and they distribute themselves uh, evenly uh, around uh, around the surface. Uh, so, uh, so what's going to happen? This electric charge is not going to stay inside. They will uh, they will go to the surface. So um, so will so so this charge will eventually moves and comes to the surface. Uh, 
uh, some of them will come here and the rest or some and the rest will go to the other side. Okay, now here is a question. Why they will be, why they will, uh, uh, why they will uh, uh, go to the surface? Why they don't stay uh, inside? Anyone can, um, can guess? Uh, it was not clear. Can you repeat? I think the audio is not clear. Uh, because they will repel themselves. Excellent. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's what I had in mind. So they repel and the, the only way uh, to stay the furthest from each other is to go to the surface such that they are uh, further from each other. So eventually, so you will would have... that be correct to say then that if you're in, if you touch the inside of a wire, you won't get shocked? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question, though. So, for example, I think there is a standard case they say if you're inside the car, and that is lightning. Are we safe? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, that's I don't know. Are are we safe? Um, of course, providing that the gasoline doesn't ignite. <laughs> true. True. Um. Yeah, I um, um, what what everyone thinks is it is it safe? You have a thunderstorm. Is it safe to uh, uh, to go to inside the car or uh, uh, stay outside uh, or 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 not to avoid getting into a car when there is a thunderstorm? I guess it's safe inside the car. I yeah. heard some people the lightning um, hit from the car, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that is correct. The lightning from the car. Okay. Well, I'm gonna listen to your advice. Uh, and if so, uh, uh, next time there is a thunderstorm, and if there is anything happens to me. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll, here is a we'll better talk. question. So if you're inside the car and you actually touch the surface of the car, like from inside, will you get shocked? I would guess so. If you touch the metal side, right? Uh, the metal side, uh, not yeah. the. Um, but yeah. you said the charges will be on the surface, right? So I'll be okay. Well, the surface, but you are touching the surface on the other side. So you are. So your hand. So <laughs> this is the out uh, outside, and this is the inside. Uh -huh. And that's the uh, body of the car. Yeah, but the body so, of the car, the charges will all be on the outside surface, right? Not on the inside surface. Probably they will be in both, right? Um, you could be, uh, that's my guess, but uh, do you think the charge will be only... Only on the uh, outside, yeah. And that also it is probably only nanometer region, right? The skin maybe. depth of the charges is only about nanometer. So I think you will be okay, fine, safe, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay. Like, uh, I think uh, this is uh, probably a demonstration done with a spherical shell of a shell conductor. And if you try to touch a small conducting wire on the inside part, it doesn't uh, do anything. It. Oh, I see. So I think it's uh, correct. Yeah. So just a curiosity question for the students. 
So this is a way to escape electric force. So if you're inside a conductor, you're safe from electric force. For example, if you want to avoid a cell phone signal, you just go into a metallic cage, correct? Yeah. So how would you escape from gravity? If you want to switch off gravity in a region, what would you do? We cannot hear you very well in case you're speaking. Okay, you guys give me uh, two minutes. Um, I'll be back. I'm just going to take a quick uh, restroom break. Yes. Any suggestions on the students then? How will Sir, you... it escape gravity? I mean, it attracts everything, right? It will attract everything, yeah. So how will you... Suppose you want to save yourself from gravity. What would you do? Like you don't want any gravitational force on you. So how will you escape it? Anti-gravity? Yeah, that's uh, just the same question in other words. But how will you create anti-gravity? I don't know. That's a weird question. Adish, Ashwin. It's a sort of a trick question, but the one of the it's a non-trivial answer. But if you jump, if you are on a weighing scale. Yeah. It measures gravitational force, right? Yes. So how much will you weigh on a weighing scale if you stand on a table on a weighing scale and then you jump off the table onto the ground with the weighing scale underneath you? While you're jumping, while you're in the air, how much will the weighing scale measure? Zero. Zero, right? That means there is... There is a gravitational force, but there is also a, you're falling with it. So in a sense, you escaped gravity. Yeah, it's a free fall, right? Yeah, it's a free fall, yeah. So during free fall, there are two forces acting on you. One is, or it's only one force and you're accelerating also. So you're basically negating gravity in a sense. So the inertial yeah. inertia is, is sort of negating the gravity part of it. But it's not, yeah, it's a sort of a non-trivial uh, answer. Maybe not the exact answer that I asked, yeah. Does that make sense? What about magnetic field? How will you escape magnetic field? Uh, positive, I mean, the same charge. A magnetic you... field, suppose you have magnet, right? Two magnets. Yes. That is a force from one on the other. But if you want to escape the magnetic field, what would you do? Point the same pole. Same pole, like same pole doesn't exist, right? Can you can you buy a North Pole in the market? Uh, no, 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 I can't. Like you cannot get a magnet with the North Pole alone, right? No, I can't. Yeah, that's it. So, 
So magnetic field also, you will use a conductor. A conductor blocks magnetic field also. Uh, yeah. Blocks both electric and magnetic. And are there other ways? I don't know as such. Maybe there are. Yeah, worth asking. Are there more ways to, to shield yourself from magnetic effects or electric effects? Have you seen these topics in your school, by the way? I'm more curious about Adish, Adish and uh, Ashwin. Have you guys studied this there? Yes, no, I think I cannot hear you very well. What did you say? No, we didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, okay. I see, I see, okay. These are the very basics of how yeah. electrical circuits work. Very, very first step. Then, then this will go into the wires. Somehow you'll bring in wires now. Sir, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. When a person is falling, he can say that I am not falling. All things are going up. Can you prove he's wrong? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, let's see. When you're falling, correct? You're not saying you're just moving. It is falling. Yes. Right? So acceleration, let's see. Uh, Have a weighing scale, right? What? Have a weighing scale? No, when a person is free falling, yeah. he can say that uh, he is not falling. All things are going up. Yeah, you... so I say, let us have the following situation. Both of us have a weighing scale on us, on each of us, right? One of the weighing scales will measure a quantity, let's say weight, and the yeah. other one will not measure it. Yeah. Whoever measures it, he's the one who is not falling. Would okay. that be a way to say it? Like what I'm trying to say is that uh, there are distinct, or is, am I, uh, can I make it simpler? Let's see, give me a second, give me a second. I'm falling, correct? So everything else. Yeah. So I'm saying, let us say you're on earth. One is going down, one is going up. And let us have the simple uh, experiment of having a pendulum, which is hanging. Okay. Yeah. And in for whichever observer it goes up or down, that will reveal that there is a direction of gravity, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm saying there will be a distinction between who is falling. So, uh, hold on. So, because this is what is called the Max principle. 
M A C H Max principle or Max uh, paradox. I don't know how you say that. So maybe there is a deeper question you're asking than the simple one dimensional motion. Usually you say it is rotating if the universe is rotating and the bucket of water is there. So probably, I don't know. I'll let, uh, I'll think about it. But that was my simple attempt at answering that, but uh, maybe there is more to it than you're asking. Okay, Sammy, sorry, we were just okay. talking about how to shield ourselves from magnetic field. Okay, yeah, you, um, yeah, you talked about um, how to shield uh, from gravity. Uh, uh, that's actually, there is a very famous uh, uh, Arabic philo uh, philosopher, and he uh, he he's arguing that uh, the Egyptians, uh, the uh, ancient Egyptian, uh, they built the pyramid through a technique uh, that they discovered a way to uh, shield from gravity, uh, uh, and I th I think that's uh, I think he is just uh, uh, crazy. Uh, in some sense, uh, because I think, I don't think uh, humanity reached that uh, uh, level of um, control of nature. Um, uh, I think he's just, uh, all the building the pyramids uh, is, uh, is a very, uh, one of the big mysteries uh, in the uh, exist, uh, exist today. Uh, uh, but I, th I think they use the manpower to push these rocks uh, uh, into the pyramid. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, um, I think if you discover how to shield from gravity, um, uh, that's uh, going to be a big, uh, a big, uh, I, I'm not sure if that's even possible. Uh, uh, do, you, do you, do you know if we will ever achieve that? Uh, I was, so I think I my I think the way I was saying it was a trick question. Uh, just jump whenever you are jumping in free fall, you escape gravity, right? Oh, I see. So, but that's a trick uh, answer. The um, yeah yeah, but uh, to really, I think while or in a static situation, can you escape gravity? I think you want to have a negative. A gravity but what what suppose you have a negative energy 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 can be negative right mm -hmm. and negative energy will behave like a negative mass because e is equal to mc square right yeah uh, and then you can have uh, ne uh any uh, basically you can compensate for the positive gravity right the only pro challenge might be that is it possible to have such a configuration where you have sufficient negative energy I suppose mm, yeah because this is the simplistic answer you give for the dark energy our universe is accelerating there must be a negative mass or something similar to negative mass. So you say it's a dark and very simplistic speaking, speaking, I guess. Yeah. So in that sense, maybe. Okay. Okay, I'll let you proceed. Okay, so uh, so going back to, um, so we successfully uh, found a way to create a uniform uh, electric field. Uh, now, um, uh, this electric field um, uh, basically um, uh, uh, requires that uh, uh, the length of this uh, conductor is 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 a huge compared to the distance uh, from the uh, the surface. So if you are here around this region you would like the length of your conductor to be really, really uh, very big compared to this distance. Um, now, uh, now the, this electric field 
is um, exist actually uh, everywhere. Uh, now, uh, we would like to have a configuration where the electric field exists in a, uh, within certain uh, boundaries or with a limited region. And that uh, can be done with um, the following configuration. So assume or imagine that we have a, a metal uh, where you put here a positive charge. And then you have, of course, there's the other side. And then another. Uh, so uh, for the sake of simplicity, and uh, I don't want to create too much confusion, I'm going to just uh, I'm not I'm not gonna draw the other side. So and then here I'm gonna put a negative charge. Uh, and then the, if I do this, then the electric field will exist in this area. So this way I have created a uniform electric field. And here the electric field will be zero. No electric field. No electric field. Now, uh, uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, give a very small information that is good to keep it in mind. Uh, here, the uh, strength uh, of the electric field depend on the distance and the how much positive charge you have here. So it, de it, so it depends on two things, the distance, and it depends on how many how much charge you have here. Uh, for, for cases like that, the electric field depends on uh, the density of the charge at the surface. So, and in general, um, uh, which means that how crowded these charges at the surface. If the charges uh, is extremely crowded, the electric field will be higher. Um, if the uh, if the um, if the charges are less dense, the electric field will be less. Uh, so the, keep in mind this is a, a very important uh, uh, case uh, and can uh, make us understand a lot of concepts in electric circuits. Now, uh, now I think we are at the right time uh, to talk about uh, electric potential. Uh, because uh, when, you, uh, when you get a battery like that, they don't tell you the electric field. They tell you the electric potential, which is 1.5. Um, because you can use this battery uh, to create uh, a huge uh, electric field, uh, or you can use it to create uh, a small electric field. So you can, basically, you can have different electric field, but always the potential that comes out of this battery is 1.5 volt. Well, uh, uh, so let's talk about the electric potential, uh, uh, which is uh, what uh, actually uh, it's a quantity that is used uh, to describe different sources of electricity. Uh, if you have, for example, a, a transformer, or if you have a battery, electric battery, or a small uh, battery, um, if you have a generator, if you have uh, electric motor, uh, you always talk about uh, electric potential. So let's see what is the definition of the uh, of the uh, electric potential. Um, 
basically, um, uh, so the, uh, uh, let's look into uh, this case where we have a uniform electric field because this is a very uh, easy platform to work with. So let's assume that I have created an electric field by distributing uh, electric charges like that. And, and um, uh, as you can uh, from the previous, we have the direction of the electric field going to the right. And the electric field is uniform. And uh, let us uh, deal with numbers. Let us assume that the electric field is uh, 20 uh, and the unit um, I'm going to use uh, a Newton. Don't worry about the unit much. Bear Coulomb. Uh, a Newton is the unit of force and a Coulomb is the unit of charge. And this is the SI unit of the electric field. Now, uh, here is the definition of the electric potential. So please uh, concentrate and try to understand this concept. If you understand this concept, uh, you are gonna really, really master this. So uh, uh, increase your con ability, concentration uh, a little bit for, for a couple of minutes. It will be worth it. Uh, so uh, if you have electric charge, that moves from here to here. And let us assume that you have one Coulomb. And uh, let us assume that the distance between these two points is, is 10 centimeter. Okay. Now the, uh, the question is, or uh, do you guys uh, do you guys know uh, what is the definition of a quantity that is called work in, in 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 motion and mechanics? Do you guys know what's the meaning of the word work? Anybody you know uh, use this uh, concept before? If not, that's okay. Um, but I'm interested in to see if anyone um, read about this in school or somewhere else. So the question yeah, is, have, have you heard of the definition of work? We cannot hear yeah. you very well. Yes. Yes. Okay. Answer is yes. Okay. And um, so how many people are saying yes? And how many people say, uh, uh, not, I'm not sure. Sir, I'm the only one here. It's in nine. So out of three, one. And Joan, have you seen the idea of work? I heard it somewhere, but not remembering. Okay. So she has heard it, but she doesn't remember. Okay. Um, that's okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, so let us, okay, so let's try to look into this concept uh, without looking into the uh, definition of the word. If you, uh, if you multiply, uh, if you, uh, if you have one uh, uh, charge of one coulomb move from uh, here to here, okay? Uh, and we multiply the electric field which is 20 if we multiply this by the distance uh, let us uh, let us see how much we'll get okay 
Um, what is the value of the electric field? Anyone? Two hundred. Yeah, a twenty, right? Twenty times ten, so two hundred. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. Yes. Now I I uh, the distance uh, we need to convert the distance into uh, a meter. So who is gonna convert ten centimeter to a meter, and give me the answer? One. Point one, right? Yeah. Very good. So times point 0.1 meter. And the answer is going to be two. Yeah. Okay. The, then we say that the, uh, the electric potential difference is two. And what's the unit there? Uh, yeah, volt. we'll come to this. Uh, what's the unit? Volt, I guess. Excellent, volt, yes. Good. And if you, um, uh, and if you uh, move, um, uh, uh, let us, uh, as, and of course, if we, if we consider a longer distance, like if the charge moves, from here to here, and the distance, for example, is uh, 50 centimeter. For this case, uh, what is the uh, electric potential difference? For this case, the electric Potential difference is again twenty times uh, fifty centimeter. How much that in meter? Point five, right? Yeah, everyone agrees. Mm -hmm. Okay, so point five. And that is that is ten okay. volts. So this is the meaning of this is the meaning of uh, uh, this is the meaning of the uh, voltage uh, or the potential difference. It is basically. Uh, the multiplication of the distance uh, and the, the electric fields, okay? So how does the distance play a role inside a battery? So we'll, uh, uh, so we will, uh, uh, we'll talk about that right now. Sir, I have a doubt. How do we find the field? Uh, so somebody has, exactly, somebody has to tell you, uh, so you have three things, right? Uh, you have electric. Uh, you you have electric, but uh, electric potential. Or let's just say potential difference. That is equal electric field, right? Electric times distance, right? You have to know two to find the third one. You have to know uh, two to find the, uh, you have to find two uh, to find out uh, the, the third one. Now, uh, and how we are gonna find the electric field for this case? Uh, then we need to know the potential difference. If we know the potential difference, then we can find the electric field. Now, the, the, now let us look into the important question of what is the battery uh, or what is uh, with the relationship between this one and the battery? And then we will know uh, how we calculate the electric field, for example. Uh, 
Um, uh, but before, uh, before, uh, uh, let, let, let us, uh, let us, um, uh, uh, let us talk about uh, 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 the, the, the following, the following case. Let us assume that we have exactly like this, two battles, okay? And then, uh, and then I get a battery uh, like this, okay? And then I take this battery, okay? And then I connect it to this side, and then I connect this battery to uh, this side. What's gonna happen is, because this is positive and this is negative, like the battery has a positive side and ha neg ha uh, have a negative side, what's gonna happen is the battery will push a positive charge that will accumulate on the surface of this side. And then, uh, and then it will uh, it will push uh, a positive charge here, and then it will pull a negative charge from this side, or um, uh, 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 let me uh, do it. Okay, so what's going to happen is. The, the battery, uh, the battery, it provided a positive charge, right? Now the battery doesn't like to lose. The battery, uh, the battery have lost a positive charge, but the battery in return is expecting to, to get that charge back. Therefore, the battery is gonna ask for the positive charge to come from this side because this side is going to give up positive charge is going to become negative when you lose positive charge you become negatively charged so that will force this side uh, to become negative because this side of the battery would like to get the positive charge back Eventually, you will have a side that is positively charged and this side that is negatively charged. Now, the battery, the battery has, uh, has a chemistry inside, has a chemistry inside such that it is going to make sure that the potential difference is exactly 1.5. This battery will, will make the voltage, uh, will make the potential difference 1.5. Why? Because the chemistry of this battery, uh, uh, it provide that much energy for the motion uh, of the charges. So each, chemical reaction needs energy. And, uh, and the energy associated with the uh, electric or with the chemical reaction dictate that the voltage or the potential difference to be 1.5 exactly. Therefore, we know that the potential difference has to be 1.5 volt because of the chemistry inside the battery. Now, can we calculate the electric field? Yeah, it is up to us because we provided this, uh, this metal side and this metal side. We are, in, uh, we are the one who control this distance. And let us assume that uh, we design this distance uh, to be um, for example, uh, uh, let's say 
30 centimeter. So, so 30 centimeter. Uh, so what is the different, uh, the potential difference between this point and this point? Well, here is the equation. Potential difference equals electric field times distance. The potential difference is 1.5. The electric field is something I don't know yet. And the distance is 30 centimeter divided by 100 to convert that to meter, which will be 0.3 meter. So 0.3 meter. Then the electric field will be 1.5 divided by this. And uh, what is the answer? Five. Five, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and we said that the unit is volt. Yeah. Volts per meter. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, volts per per meter. Correct. Now uh, we say potential difference. Uh, some uh, people don't like to use this terminology. They say voltage difference. Uh, but, uh, the, these two terminologies uh, are used interchangeably. Uh, doesn't matter which one uh, you use. So this is exactly uh, um, uh, 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 the definition of the voltage difference. Uh, basically, the voltage difference is uh, the electric field times the distance. Now, uh, I asked you before if you have studied the definition, the, if you studied work. Um, work uh, means that uh, you are moving something uh, a certain distance with, with specific force. Uh, like, for example, if you, I'll, I'll tell this example. Uh, from my elementary school uh, memory. Uh, so uh, imagine there is a wall and somebody pushes the wall as much as, uh, as possible or as hard as possible, but the wall doesn't move. Did this person uh, lost any energy in doing so? Uh, if we forget about the tension in his muscles and all these things, he didn't lose any energy because unfortunately the wall didn't move. Uh, he loses energy when the wall when he pushes something that moves. Like for example, if you pushes a box with a force, and the box move, uh, for example, a two meter, and the force that this guy is acting with is 30 Newton, then the work done by this guy is basically you multiply this times this, which is 30, times two, and that is 60, a joule. So this guy have, has lost 60 joule because he pushed something. So work is basically how much energy uh, you lose uh, when you move objects. Uh, and that's bring us back 
to our uh, to our uh, case of uniform electric field anti battery. Uh, uh, if you have a battery that has a voltage 1.5 volt and you connect it to this one, then the battery will charge this plate with positive charge and this plate with negative charge and then it create magnetic fi electric field. Now, uh, if you have electric charge, if you have electric charge here, and the charge, uh, assume that the charge is positive and the charge moves uh, from this side to this side, what happened, the battery did work on this charge because there was a force and there was a motion, okay? Uh, the question is how much work this battery did on this charge, you don't have to think, it is 1.5 volt. So there are two ways. Uh, there are two ways to think about the meaning of 1.5 volt. The first way is that it's gonna. This battery is gonna create electric field, um, and the electric field uh, can be calculated from this equation: a voltage difference, which is 1.5 for this battery. which is equal to the electric field times distance. Uh, the other way to think about this, the battery uh, do or does uh, work or, uh, and the value of that work equal 1.5 volt. Under one condition though, the charge is assumed to be unit charge. So as this one is one coulomb. Now, if you talk, if you talk to a chemical engineer, and you talk about one point five volt battery, he tells you this battery has a chemical reaction, and each chemical reaction, okay, is gonna lose or is gonna do one point five. Uh, a jewel uh, on one unit of charge. Uh, if you talk to electrical engineer, he will tell you 1.5 is basically, it is the, the voltage difference, which is equal to the electric field times the distance. Now, okay, so any question? Do you have any doubt, any, uh, or you, okay, any question? So in the uniform electric field, can the electric charge travel infinitely or in name? Uh, in if you uh, yeah, like here, let's look into, that's a good question. Um, if you, uh, uh, if you look into this, uh, if you look into this electric field, uh, sorry, if you, if you look into this, uh, this case, it's a uniform electric field, right? Yeah. Now, uh, if, you put, uh, if you put electric charge here, the charge will move infinitely. But remember that you need a very long uh, metal here. Uh, 
so if you move if you move if the charge comes back to here for uh, reaches here and uh, and the uh, and the metal bar this one this metal bar is not very long the electric field will not look uniform anymore so that's why um, uh, that's why if you make if you want to really make a, uh, a uniform uh, electric field you have to have a really really long uh, metal bar is the question related to the velocity attaining very high speeds because if you keep moving in the uniform electric field is that the question uh that's a question for the student i mean uh, i think what what was the question about i mean can it move infinitely yeah uh, what is wrong in moving infinitely? That was my. Uh, because it's not uh, detained uh, long enough. I cannot understand. If it retains long enough, what happens? The charged electric particle can move infinitely. Yeah, in principle, yes. Uh, because this is all classical, by classical I mean, uh, in principle, yes, it can keep moving infinitely and very soon it will attain very high speeds. But uh, just as a caution, uh, that is if we use normal Newtonian physics, Instead, if we use Einstein's physics, then it will not go, it, there will be a finite speed it will reach. So it will be the speed of light. So it's a uh, hard question. So the answer requires a lot more uh, addressing other concepts. So yeah, good question. Keep thinking about it okay, instead, of, you, instead of satisfying with that. Is that correct, Sammy? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, I want to add that uh, in 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 there is always a difference between uh, practical and theoretical uh, yeah. situation. Yes. You you always you always uh, run uh, with conditions uh, where the assumption changes. You always reach that. Um, and there is nothing in 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 life uh, and in real uh, systems. Uh, the idealistic uh, conditions become uh, approximations. Um, uh, uh, so uh, so in this case, um, we uh, we have infinite. Uh, we say that infinitely uh, long uh, metal bar. But of course, nobody can do can build infinitely a metal bar. There is no infinite amount of money uh, to do so. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. but if you are close uh, to the to the bar, um, there is no much difference between uh, an infinitely long bar or a bar that is long enough to feel that the electric field is uh, is uniform um, uh, so, and uh, in 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 life when you guys uh, uh, dig deeper into science uh, and engineering and technology uh, you will uh, uh, you will you will have to deal with deviation uh, from the ideal circumstances and include that into your into the consideration Uh, but I want you um, to uh, not ever forget the, the definition of uh, the voltage difference. Uh, the voltage difference means two things. It is basically the electric field times the distance. Uh, and also it means uh, 
the energy um, uh, the source is losing uh, for the motion of one coulomb of charge uh, over the complete circuit. Um, now, the chemistry of this battery dictate that the voltage is 1.5. Uh, there are some batteries that are nine volt. Um, uh, 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 so, uh, uh, you, you, uh, how you create a nine point volt, you can change the chemistry, uh, or you can have multiple batteries connected in, in series. Uh, but that's another uh, topic. Um, yeah. Not all sources of electric uh, uh, voltage difference is chemically based, uh, like a battery. Uh, I'm going to talk quickly about uh, the uh, electric motor and the electric generator. Maybe we should postpone that because it's already oh, yeah. one and a half hours, I think. Yeah, let's, let, that's a good, uh, good uh, point That'd to stop. Good point to and, stop, uh, right? Yeah, I think, and I uh, want maybe you to... one thing you could add, what is the idea of ground? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, that or... is actually uh, an, a, 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 in my mind to talk about. Let's quickly cover this one. Okay. Now, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so we calculate. So the we know because the battery is one point five. Uh, we say that the voltage difference is one point five. So if we say that, so, uh, 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 so the difference here is one point five. So if this one, if this point. Uh, was given a value of uh, 100 volts. This one, uh, this one is gonna differ from this one by how much? Uh, anyone? This point is gonna, be, is gonna differ uh, from this point by how much, how many volts? Anyone? So we said that the voltage difference is 1.5, right? So we know the difference between this point and this point is 1.5. Therefore, if this is 100, this one is gonna be 100 plus 1.5, which is 101.5. Now, uh, if somebody- uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, why can't it be 98.5? Uh, yeah, it can be anything. Oh, uh, be if you say if you say this 98.5, this is gonna be how much here? 100, 100. right? Yes. Yes. Now I think his uh, question was why is it not the opposite? I think yeah. the answer is just that the positive is at a higher potential. Uh, now, in uh, in uh, in electric circuits, um, they choose a point, which is a, by the way is arbitrary. They choose a point where they consider the voltage there is zero, and usually uh, they use the point at the lowest uh, potential compared to all other points. So the uh, so. Uh, so conventionally, they say, okay, this, po this point has a, a voltage uh, of uh, zero volts. And they give it a symbol like that. And sometimes the symbol is like this. Which means that, um, uh, uh, which means that the voltage here is zero. And um, now if you know the voltage difference between this point and this point, then this becomes the voltage at that point. Let me draw another picture. So we have, uh, uh, an electric field because of a battery. 
and then uh, let's have 1.5 volt battery. And then this point is, con is considered the reference or the zero volt. So uh, I'm gonna consider, I'm gonna uh, write this symbol means that the voltage here is zero. Now this point and this point, they differ in voltage by 1.5. Therefore, if this is zero, this is gonna be 1.5. Now, uh, can this be minus 1.5? No, because always, always, uh, uh, the potential increases when you move opposite to the electric field. So the electric field is this way. Since you are moving from here to here, you are moving the opposite to the, elect uh, to the electric field. So this point has to have a higher potential, have to have a higher potential. And if this is zero, this is 1.5. Now, um, uh, the, the, um, if you make this zero, by the way, then this become minus 1.5. No matter what, this has to be at higher potential than this one. Mm -hmm. But there is nothing wrong in grounding the plus 1.5 side of the battery, right? It's just that in reference, it becomes minus 1.5 then. Yes, the, 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 the most important thing, you should assign zero volt to only one side. You cannot assign two, you cannot assign two sides to become zero volt. That is uh, uh, gonna be wrong. So that's why when you see electric circuit uh, like this, you have a resistor and then a resistor here, a diode here, and then a battery here, and then uh, another resistor here. You will see, for example, this side is grounded. Mm -hmm. You can, but you will never see that this side is grounded and this side is grounded. Because, because this side is grounded, this uh, is gonna be a different potential compared to this point, okay? In, in certain, in, if, if, if you prove uh, that this voltage and this voltage, if you prove that the voltage difference between these two zero, then you, you can put also ground here. But in general, this is not the case. We'll talk about electric circuit later. Uh, probably in the next uh, time we meet. But I want you to always remember uh, this. Uh, I think about it for half an hour uh, today uh, before you go to bed, uh, that there are uh, the voltage difference is the electric field times the distance. And also it is the work done uh, on one coulomb of charge. And work is the energy uh, uh, you provide to the object that you are pushing or you are moving with, with a force. Nice. But yeah, I think we can stop. Thank you, Sammy. Yeah. Good. Uh, all right. So yeah, we'll see you guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Shajesh, they have access to um, the WhatsApp uh, specs. Uh... Yes, they. Okay. All these students are uh, in specs WhatsApp group. Yes. Okay. So if you guys have any question, just uh, put it in uh, uh, the WhatsApp Thanks. message, sure. and then um, uh, I can answer it, or Shajesh can also answer it. Uh, so basically, okay. we have covered the idea of a battery today, right? Source of energy yeah. in a circuit. Would that be right to say? Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Sammy. All right. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Enjoy. Bye, Bye Sean.
ആദ്യം വന്നില്ലേ ആദ്യത്തെ ദിവസം ഞാനില്ലേ 